Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and to another yearly vlogmas tradition. Yay! Que emoción! Oh my god, you guys. Okay, so let's talk about it. So this is actually my third year doing vlogmas. And first of all, I can't believe that time has gone by really, really fast. So I think I started YouTube in April, it will be five years. The first year I didn't do Vlogmas because I was like a new baby YouTuber and I was like so intimidated by it. And then 2020 was my first year doing Vlogmas. And I don't know if you guys remember, but I had actually pre-recorded a bunch of content. And then I remember that's the year that I got sick with the pandemic that was going around. I was in bed for like a whole two weeks of Vlogmas, but thankfully because I had pre-recorded content, I was able to still like keep up with it. But I think I only did like 19 videos or something like that. And then last year I went really, really hard and I think I delivered like 22, 21 videos. This year, I'm gonna be super honest with you guys, I didn't think I was gonna do Vlogmas because you guys, from July when I got pregnant, July, Julio, Agosto, Septiembre y Octubre, I would even say the beginning of October, those months were so rough, girl. Like, I was like, there's no way I'm gonna be able to do Vlogmas. Like, at that point, girl, I wouldn't even, like, go to the restroom. Like, it was so, 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 so bad. So, and what I mean is, like, I wouldn't even get up to go to the restroom or, like, make food. Like, my mom would have to come help me. But you guys already know that. Anyway, point is, I'm in the bliss of second trimester. I love the second trimester. It's amazing. It's beautiful. I'm having an amazing time. I'm enjoying it to the max. I love this baby. I love this pregnancy, and I love the way it's making me feel right now. So I'm hopeful about the fact that we're doing Vlogmas this year. Oh my goodness. This is actually gonna be the first Vlogmas video. Um, I'm actually recording this the day before and I have to be super honest with you because obviously, duh. I have to be realistic with myself. I pre-recorded some content. Like I have like four or five videos that have been pre-recorded because um, I don't think I would have been able to do things like every day. All that to say, I have some pre-recorded content. I'm gonna be trying my best and I'm not promising 25 videos. But if we make it, we make it. If not, it's okay. Now, from your part, I would love for you guys to let me know what you think because, and be honest with me, like I feel like a lot of times when creators ask people like, do you guys want more videos? People are like, yeah, we want more videos. But be super honest with me. Do you guys want 25 videos, including Fridays and Saturdays? Or would you guys be okay with me taking Fridays and Saturdays off. Only asking because I feel like Fridays and Saturdays people are busy, like you have more things to do. Like I feel like it's not like, I don't know, like it's not as free, if you will, um, because you're like with your family doing like Christmassy activities yourself. So definitely let me know what you think. Comment down below in the comments. Today's like chill vibes, like chilling at home vibes, okay? I ended up going to Target earlier and I got some stuff to start us off today. First of all, today we're gonna be making chocolate abuelita. Compré dos paquetotes en Costco. Um, I don't need this much, but I was like, oh, I'll just give one to my mom and then I'll keep the other one for the house. So we're gonna be making chocolate abuelita. Now, you guys know already, no se los tengo que decir. No soy la experta en la cocina. I've never actually made chocolate abuelita myself. My mom usually makes it for me. Um, or like, I'll drink it when I go to my mom's. Oh my God, it smells so good. Oh my god, it smells so good. Um, anyway, I'll drink it when I go to my mom's. But you guys, <sighs> public service announcement, I'm gonna be a mom. So I have to learn how to make chocolate abuelita porque mi bebé va a querer chocolate abuelita. Y ni que le diga, no, no sé cómo. You know, like I have to figure it out. So I was like, you know what? This is the perfect time to start making chocolate abuelita. So let's see the directions. I actually talked to my mom and I was like, oh, mama, voy a hacer chocolate abuelita. Y me dice, ay, que padre, que bueno. So this is how my mom told me she makes it. Um, this is my mom's olla, actually. She left it here for me. This is like what she has left for me when I moved out and I became a housewife, as you could tell. Está muy bien usada esta olla. So I have my own new ollas, but she's like, usa la olla que te regalé y llena la, a la mitad. So I'm like, okay, I, I know how to measure that. I bought real milk. I have almond milk in there, but um, it tastes better when you have regular milk. No, I bought lactate because I don't want to have trouble using the restroom, as you know. Gracias. Oh my God, you guys, I'm so excited. I hope it tastes just as good as my mom's. I mean, it's chocolate bolita. Like how hard can it be, right? Okay, 
so while that gets going i'm gonna show you guys the stuff that i got at target um maybe let me expose New Year's, I'm gonna go for right now. Staying fit. Is it that? Aww. Yeah, we're You guys, Danny's here, but he's gonna go play volleyball right now. Wee! Wee! Okay. Okay. No me Ay, ay, no más quieres amor. When I don't want to. Okay, anyways, let me show you guys what I got at Target. So, I went to with the milk the normal milk because I only had almond milk. But then I thought to myself, I was like, oh my God, I should make cookies. One of my really good friends actually told me that she's pregnant. Oh my God, I'm so happy for her. I'm so excited. So I'm gonna get her a little gift. Um, I got her this bag. Obviously we don't know if her baby is a boy or a girl. So I got her this bag that says Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. And then, um, I got her this little bathrobe. I, it's like unisex, you know, like a boy or a little girl can use it. So it's so cute. And then, I didn't really know what to get her because I was like, it's kind of hard when you don't know if it's a boy or a girl, you know? So I got her two teethers. I got her this little banana teether that is super cute. And then this little avocado that's also super cute. I ended up finding raspberry leaf tea. So before I got pregnant, I wanted to drink it to try and get pregnant. And I couldn't even find it anywhere. Like it was so hard to find. So I finally found it at Target today and I ended up getting two boxes because I'm gonna be drinking raspberry leaf tea towards the end of my pregnancy to try and induce labor and have an easier labor. So I got two boxes. I got myself some Santa socks so that I can wear them and be super warm. These are like the socks that are like I'm obsessed with right now that it's cold. These I got at Costco, but I like them when they're like fussy like this. And then I got some peppermint, is that what it is? Candy cane chapstick. My favorite purchase from today is I got two mugs so we can drink our hot cocoa. It's Christmas mugs. So this one says, this is my Christmas movie mug, super cute. And this one says Mama Claus, which is me. <laughs> what? Let me live. He doesn't let me shine. Well, anyway, I'm Mama Claus. <laughs> so anyway, I'm gonna. Eh? I'm Santa. You're Santa. Yup. You're we're, you're gonna be Santa next year when when baby's oh, born. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so anyway, you guys, I'm gonna start making the cookies, and I'm gonna preheat the oven, and then le voy a mover. Al chocolate caliente. Hey, ni que fuera McDonald's, mijo. Aquí se tardan las cosas. I think I messed up. Hmm. I'm embarrassed to show you because everybody's gonna make fun of me. Oh my god, don't make fun of me. Okay, so yo tontamente compré olive oil because it's healthier. And obviously I'm baking it at 350 degrees. And I don't think you're supposed to eat oil, olive oil. Um I don't think you're supposed to eat olive oil or heat olive oil that high. Oh my god, you guys, I feel silly. Hold on. See, but this is why I'm doing this now because when I have my son, I'm gonna be an expert at this stuff. But right now, I'm not. <laughs> so please don't make fun of me too bad. I feel like I've made cookies before, like this couldn't have been that hard. Oh my god, no. Look, this is all the burnt oil. 
So does this mean does this mean these cookies are not bad? Are not good? Oh my god, let me see. I need to Google this because I need to not find to throw these cookies away. Can I eat something with burnt olive oil? Oh my god, I feel like this is like such a beginner issue. If you burn it, it will taste bad and it will contain harmful chemicals. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so sad. So I have to throw all these cookies out. So these were definitely a fail. Oh my god, I feel so silly. Oh my gosh. Um, look, they're burnt from the bottom. So I'm not going to eat them. Um, I'm not going to eat them. I'm still going to try the hot chocolate. And then... Since I only have one baking uh, pan, I don't, I don't want to wash it because then I'm gonna wash it with cold water, and I feel like that's gonna be like really smoky and stuff. So I'm gonna wait till it cools, and I'll probably try to make cookies tomorrow again. <laughs> I honestly thought I was like, how hard can this be? Like this cannot be that hard, you know? Obviously, I should have done some googling beforehand, but that's me, you guys. I jump in before I learn, and then I make mistakes, and then I'm like, oh, okay, like that's how that's done. So at least I succeeded at one thing. <laughs> honestly though you guys look here's the deal in my mind this is how it works god said because look i know a lot of you guys are really good at cooking and like this comes like nothing to you like this is super easy for you and i think that that's good that's amazing i love that for you like cooking comes amazingly easy for my mom um but i also think that god didn't create any perfect humans <laughs> So he was like, I'm gonna make you funny. I'm gonna make you uh, talented. I'm gonna make you good at sports. Um, I'm gonna make you smart. But your one downfall is gonna be that you literally suck in the kitchen. And I'm gonna, you know, I'll live with it. God is fair. <laughs> oh, my poor child. We're definitely gonna have to go to grandma's house to have cookies or I'll get better. I'm gonna watch a tutorial. If anybody wants to leave the recipe down below on how to make cookies you guys i didn't even make them from scratch i literally made them from the box <laughs> we're not from the box from the batter what is it called i don't know the cookie dough but well this is me in a nutshell would you have me any other way i hope not um the good thing is you guys will never get to try my cookies <laughs> um that's definitely not one thing i will ever sell cookies um but I think that's gonna be it for today. Oh, let me try my hot chocolate, my hot cocoa. Oh, it's really hot. I mean, it's not that hot. Mm. So at least I succeeded at one thing. This hot cocoa, check. I feel like my baby boy is definitely gonna be happy to have a mom that can at least make hot cocoa. I will honestly, look, we have 25 days of Vlogmas. I'm gonna make a video of me perfecting the damn cookies because now it's a challenge between the cookies and I. And I know you guys are gonna roast me in the comments. So I'm gonna go harder at these cookies and I'm gonna figure it out. I'm gonna ask my mom watch. My mom's gonna help me. So that's gonna be it for me for today. I just wanted to do a quick little intro vlog for, um, for Vlogmas. Uh, I'm really looking forward to spending the next month with you guys. I really hope, pray for me that everything works out and that everything comes out okay. Ya saben que las quiero mucho. Ya saben que les mando todas mis bendiciones. Um, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for another vlog of this video. Quiero mucho, respeto más. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.